Okay, so what we've been doing here is we've been taking things like this, log x squared over y, and then we've been uh, stretching them out or expanding or contracting them. In this case, it's already contracted. It's already small. It's already condensed. But you'd need to expand it. Give that one a shot. See if you can do it without any prompting from me. Hopefully you're thinking about that divided by y. You might change that to a minus log y. So you'd have log x squared minus a log y. And now that's not expanded all the way. It's, this you could actually argue both sides of, but I will tell you what we expect. This, is, this little squared here does need to be brought to the front, and it will make it just slightly bigger. Well, I guess the only thing you could argue is, you know, that isn't isn't it widthwise just the same by having an extra two here but that's a x good thank you um this this argument you could have but i'm not gonna like save you time don't argue that's the way we consider expanded all the way um again this little square here is condensed all right so back to uh, if I were going to give you a new problem for today, if this might look a little funkier than that. Log of e, let's go log base e of e to the negative one. I think you know what the answer to that is. Boom, right, right, put it negative one, okay? And if instead I made it like two and then eight, you'd know that that answer was what? Three right away, okay? But what happens if I make it log base 10 of 1 tenth. You'd have to change that 1 tenth to a what? A 10 to the what? And the negative 1. And then what if you say, wait a minute, so you've been telling us to take the negative power like that and put it down in the front. Why is that still answered? Negative 1. Negative 1 times what's that? 1. 1. All right. Another one that, that is really important to remember because it's going to come up today is this. What's that equal? Zero. Okay. So now, let's say that I had all of the ones we've been doing so far, I just say log x minus log y. And when I've been doing these, what base have I had the whole time? Base 10. But if I said this was log base 2, it still would work the exact same way exact same way. So I just have log base 2 of what? X, X times Y? Over Y. There we go. So don't let it freak you out if there's a different base than base 10. We've had a base, oh, sorry, base 10 was what we had the whole time. We just never really wrote it. We could have been writing a little 10 here each time. But we save time because that's the most common log, so we don't have to write the 10 for the most common log. So just when they change it to base 2, don't, just nothing changes. It's all the all right, so uh, last one I want to just talk over is what if the exponent is negative like this, log base 2 of x to the negative 2. Well, you could have two ways you could do it. Do you want to give a suggestion for how I could do this? Put the negative 2 in front. Yep. Can you still do that? Yes, you can. Okay, and what if, though, a different... A Kids, different kids decided to take it this way and say, all right, that is the same as log base 2 of, hopefully you remember your fraction exponent things. If this is a negative, it means 1 over, and if it's x, x squared. And then the kid said, so then, isn't that true, Mr. Server? And I would say, yeah, that is, this is the same as this, so that's good. And then they say, so I say that this is log base 2 of 1, and then that divide by is minus, minus log base 2 of x squared, and I would have to say, well, yeah, I guess you, you haven't broken any rules yet, so log base 2 of 1 minus, and then I'm going to put the 2 up front, 2 log base 2 x. How come this is a totally different answer than the other one? It's not different. Why is it not different than the other answer? Yes? 
Don't go a different way, White. Oh, what I'm asking is, why is this the exact same thing as the other answer I got? What do you think we could do? It's equal to zero. So, it's just negative 2 log base 2 of x, just like if we had taken this negative 2 and slapped it down in the front. It's just a lot faster to do it that way. This other answer is the same exact thing. It's just that, that you, everybody does, looks at it and doesn't think about the fact that just a second ago I reminded you that that's zero. Yeah, so it's just zero minus that, so it's just minus 2 log base 2 of x. So shouldn't you have just taken the negative 2 and slapped it down in front? Yep. That would be way faster. All right. Another thing, if you have one like this, where you have log of x squared y over x, uh, let's say, let's say 5x to the third, then the question becomes, first of all, can you reduce in this kind of problem? The answer is yes, you can. And then the second question would be, so should I cube everything first and then reduce it? Or should I reduce it first and then, then cube everything? And that answer is it really doesn't matter, but the order of operations would say to do parentheses before x plus 3. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses come first, so what's in the parentheses that can be reduced? The x. So that x squared over x is just going to become x, and this one's going to cancel. Like that, and now everything gets cubed. Final answer, log x cubed, y cubed over 5 cubed. Okay? All right, so there's a few things you're going to encounter today, and uh, let's hand out the worksheet and do a couple together. That's all there is to it. All right. Ah, oh, here we go. Three, four, five. When you least expect it, expect it. Now, I know some of you, and I have to say it's really only some of you. I think you like to you think you're a very large group, but in in the in the actual reality, there's most of the kids in here are doing their homework. In fact, and by most, I mean like 75% are doing their homework every day. But if you refuse to do your homework, it is your life. I cannot make you. But it's, I would just refer to the old practice makes perfect. And that's the reason the professional athletes go out and play golf every day. The professional gamers say that they have to play games for like five hours a day to keep sharp, keep really good at it. Because they don't know how to play? Nope. They actually need to be able to do that. So, I want to just saying. So, practice will make you better. Here we go, number one, or A, I guess, in this case. Quiet, please. In the front row, you're going to be sent out if you keep turning around and talking. Uh, here we go. A is 3LN2. Two, two, and then I go plus LNX. And now I'm going to try to squish this down in this case. So condense it. So this little three just goes up here. That's pretty easy. And final answer would be ln. Of should I actually do cubed or should I not? It doesn't really matter which we should do. And then you time. Yep. Ln eight. That's all there is to it. So when it gets tricky is on the back side. Let me help you with number eleven, for example. And I could very easily see people making a little mistake on this and get overconfident and say, ah, oh, this is a piece of cake and fly through it a little too quick. This number 11 says log and then it says the fourth root of x over y. Would you agree that that's the exact same thing as log of x over y to the power of one fourth? That's important. Okay, and then do you agree that the one fourth can come down in the front? Okay, so I'm going to put the one fourth down in front instead of having it there. That's all good. Now, when I'm stretching it out this last time is where people are going to make the mistake. And of course, my me saying that, you're probably going to be more careful. But go ahead and try to write out the rest of this and I'll see if you can be careful enough to do it right. Log 
x, and then divide means minus, and y in the bottom, so we'll log one. How many of you have that? All right, at least half the room. Probably, anybody else think there's something different I should have done? Ah, I would agree with either. Put parentheses around it, because without those parentheses, it was wrong. Or you could do what? Put another one fourth in front of this. Why does there need to be one fourth on both of them? Look, in, the, in this case, wasn't there a fourth root on both of them? That's why there has to be a fourth root on both of them. And that will be, happen a lot. I cut, there was like nine kids in here, that, so I didn't see that. And that's okay. You're normal humans, but I'm trying to show you common mistakes. All right. So the rest of it is yours. And the challenge isn't insanely hard, but I will be happy to see who can figure out the challenge. One kid last hour. Might have been more, but I know for sure of one. <laughs>